Hello guys, welcome back to the channel Mathematics J E E. In this video, we are going to talk about two special types of matrices that have been repeated many times in J E Mains exam. So let us see what are those two matrices. The first type that we are going to discuss is this matrix, which is denoted by A of alpha, and alpha is a variable parameter here. So the matrix look like this cos of alpha cos of alpha and then plus minus sin alpha and then minus plus sin alpha. Now what is the speciality of this matrix? Here if you observe carefully you will see that determinant of all these matrices is 1 and similarly if you are going to multiply this matrix with itself again and again you will notice that a to the power n will be simply a of n alpha so that means if i multiply this matrix with itself let's say i calculate a square then it will become simply cos 2 alpha then plus minus sine 2 alpha then minus plus sine 2 alpha and then cos of 2 alpha and same goes for any natural number n. This is a very interesting pattern that you have to note down. Now what are the other properties of this matrix? You have to keep in mind that a of alpha into a of beta will be same as a of alpha plus beta. This is another interesting property. Similarly, you can note that if I try to calculate the inverse of this matrix, let's say A inverse of alpha, it is equal to simply A of minus alpha. This is another interesting property that you have to keep in mind. Now here comes the most interesting property that if we are to calculate A into A transpose or A transpose into A, this will be always be equal to the identity matrix of the second order. That means this type of matrices are always orthogonal matrices. And here is a special thing that you can also note, although it has not been asked yet in J mains, but it can come in any future shifts. That if I write this matrix like this, let's say this new matrix is of the order 3 by 3. So cos alpha plus minus sin alpha, then 0, 0, 1, then minus plus sin alpha, then cos alpha and then 0, 0. Then this matrix also satisfies all the properties that we discussed here. You have to keep these properties in mind. Now how to apply this in problem solving? This question was asked in J main 2023. You can see. Now here if we observe this matrix carefully, we can see that this matrix can be written as half, then root 3 by 2, then minus root 3 by 2, then half. So A can be written as a of pi by 3. That means if we have to calculate let's say a to the power n then we can simply calculate it as a of n pi by 3. That means here we can calculate easily a to the power 30 which is equal to a of you can see 10 pi and similarly a to the power 25 will be a of this will be 25 pi by 3. So in the options we are seeing higher powers of a. So we calculate this matrices like this. Let us calculate this. This matrix will become a of 10 pi. So cos of 10 pi will be 1 then 1 then it will be 0 and 0. So a to the power 30 is identity matrix. Now we can calculate 25 pi by 3 as 24 
pi by 3 plus pi by 3. So, 8 pi plus pi by 3. So, we can write that it will be the matrix which is equal to A itself and it is equal to i. So, in the options we substitute the values, it will be i and it will be A itself. It will be i, it will be A itself. It will be i and it will be A. So, from here we can see easily that options 3 is going to be the correct option. You can see how easily we can solve such questions if we know the direct shortcut behind the matrix multiplication. Now here is a repeated pattern based question. Questions of this pattern have been repeated years after years. So you have to note down this pattern. Let us see what pattern it is. Here you will be always given any 2 by 2 orthogonal matrix and then you will be given some other matrix which is B and you will be given that this matrix is either A transpose B A or M is equal to A B A transpose. Any of this form can work in this given problem and you will be asked to find this type of matrices. So, if M is defined like this, you will be asked to calculate let us say A times M to the power N times A transpose and if this is given like this, then you will be asked to calculate A transpose M to the power N times A. This pattern is clear. Now how to identify the pattern? Here you can say that M is A transpose B A. So, if I calculate M square, it will be M into M. So, A transpose B A times A transpose B A. And you can simply see that by the property of the matrix we just discussed, this will always be equal to the identity matrix of the second order. That means it will be equal to A transpose B square A. So, by identifying the pattern, you can say that M to the power N will be always equal to a transpose b to the power n times a and for this question a into m to the power n times a transpose is asked from you. So a into m to the power n times a transpose will be equal to you can calculate a a transpose b to the power n then a into a transpose and both these matrices will go towards identity matrix. You will be left with simply b to the power n. So, here you can directly substitute this type of expressions to b to the power n where in this case n is 2, 0, 2, 3. And when you calculate this power, you will notice that always b to the power n is equal to 1, 1, 0 and minus n iota. Then b to the power 2, 0, 2, 3 which is this matrix is equal to 1 then minus 2, 0, 2, 3 i then 0 then 1 and then the inverse of this matrix is what? So, we know for a 2 by 2 matrix we can directly calculate the b inverse or b to the power minus 2, 0, 3 in this case because we are calculating the inverse of the matrix b to the power 2, 0, 2, 3. So, in this case, it will become simply 1 by determinant of b times the adjoint of b. Adjoint of b is calculated by simply interchanging the diagonal elements. So, 1, 1 and reversing the sign of the non-diagonal elements. So, like this. And if you calculate determinant of B, you will get determinant B is equal to 1. So, the matrix comes out to be 1, 1, 2, 0, 2, 3, I and 0. So, option 4 is the correct option. Now, you can simply remember this pattern of this special type of problem and then directly apply the approach that was already discussed. These are the questions that have been asked throughout the years 
let us solve them one by one so here you can see again p is an orthogonal matrix so here this definition is given and then we can simply say that this will be simply equal to this matrix raised to the power this 2 0 0 7 and then if you calculate a to the power n you will get 1 n 0 1 and you can say a to the power 2007 will become 1 2007 then 0 1 and you can say that a is 1 b is 2007 c is 0 and d is 1 so this will be equal to this is 0 so 2007 minus 2 so option 2 is the correct option and here also you can see easily it is again the same form we just discussed so a to the power 32 will be a of 32 alpha and you can say that cos of 32 alpha is 0 so we can say that 32 alpha is pi by 2 so alpha is pi over 64 so option 3 is correct option similarly here you can say that a to the power 50 will be simply equal to a of 50 theta so a of 50 theta will be 50 into pi by 12 this will be so if we cancel this this becomes this can be written as 4 pi plus pi by 6 so again a of pi by 6 and the matrix inverse is asked so okay so we already discussed that a inverse of pi by 6 is simply a of minus pi by 6 so it will be equal to cos of minus pi by 6 which is root 3 divided by 2 then it will be minus half and again a minus so overall plus half and then it will be minus half and it will be root 3 over 2 that means option 1 is the correct option you can see how easily we can handle such question if we remember the property of this special matrix now this question is for you guys you attempt this question is of the same flavor and post the answer in the comments now coming to the second type of matrices this matrix is like this 1 1 1 0 0 0 lambda lambda and mu or this matrix can also be like this so we basically take the transpose of this matrix to obtain this matrix if this matrices are like this you have to remember that any higher power of this matrix same will be simply 1 1 1 as it is 0 0 0 as it is then n lambda n lambda then n mu plus n c2 lambda square you have to remember this pattern in mind so here we write it clearly similarly if you calculate m transpose whole to the power n then it will also be like this 1 1 1 then 0 0 0 and then it will be n lambda and then it will be n lambda and this will be n mu plus n c2 lambda square this type of matrices have been directly asked in j main paper so you need to remember these shortcuts this is a question from j main 2021 now this matrix is similar you can see here the lambda is 1 and here the mu is also 1 so we know any general power n of this matrix m but here it is given this matrix is a so let us denote this by a to the power n so it will be like this 1 1 1 0 0 0 then n lambda so n then n and n mu plus n c2 lambda square 
So n plus nc2. That means n into n plus 1 divided by 2. Now we are asked to simply sum up this matrix from n equal to 1 to 20. This will be equal to the matrix M. That means summation will apply to the whole matrix. So we get summation 1, then summation 1, summation 1, then 0, 0, 0, summation n, summation n into n plus 1 divided by 2, and then summation n. So summation 1 will become simply 20, then 0, 0, 0, then this will become summation n. So 20 into 21 divided by 2. So 210. So from here, you can calculate this summation n into n plus 1 divided by 2. It will be half times summation n square plus summation n. Summation n square we can calculate as 20 into 21 times 41 divided by 6 and then summation n we calculated as 210. So this will become so 70 into 41 plus 210 divided by 2. That means it becomes 105 plus this becomes 35 and 1435. So it becomes 1540. So the sum of all the elements of the matrix M will become simply 60 plus 420 plus 1540. So it will become 2020. So 2020 is the correct answer for this question. You can see how easily we can solve such problems within a few minutes if we know directly the pattern of this matrix multiplication. Now it is also of the same flavor. It was asked in J Advanced 2016 and repeated as it is in J Main 2019. Here it says this matrix is given and we are asked to calculate some higher powers of this matrix. Okay. Now we observe this matrix is of the second form. So this form. That means our rule is also valid here. That means p to the power 50 will be simply here this lambda is 4 and mu is 16. So it will be 1, 1, 1, then 0, 0, 0, and then it will be n lambda. So 50 into 4, 200. Now here, this term will simply become 50 C2 lambda square. So 16 plus n into mu. So 16 into 50. This, if you calculate, it will become 20400. So this is the matrix p to the power 50. So the matrix q will be simply this matrix minus i. So will become 0 0 0 0 0 0 then 200 20400 0, 0, and 200. And here you can easily say that this is the element Q31 and this is the element Q32. Similarly, this is the element Q21. So 20400 plus 200 divided by 200. If you calculate it, it becomes 102 plus 1 so 103 is the correct option for this question you can see how we easily solve this type of problems if we know the pattern of the matrix multiplication this question is also of the similar pattern do solve this question yourself and post the answer in the comments for more short tricks like this don't forget to subscribe our channel